Happy New Year, everyone. I hope 2023 brings health and happiness to you all. Now, um, Sandra's kitchen is back in, and we will start. I will start doing something that my grandma used to love doing, and I used to love to eat it. Um, but first of all, I'll have a something to, you know, it's hydrate the palate or the palate. Salud everyone. Salud. Manfred. Salud Manfred. Delicious, huh? And just the way chube. So, I'll make sfiha. Sfiha is a Lebanese tradition, well, Brazilian Lebanese tradition of a pastry, a light pastry, homemade, yeah? with fresh yeast, a bit of sugar, um, salt, olive oil, and flour. And the pastry is very light, in, with airy, which will be rolled thinly and filled with um, some mints, which I'm gonna show later for you guys the filling. So goes, I use eggs, 200 ml of olive oil, Greek or preference, Six, 30 grams of salt, 25 grams of sugar, and 110 grams fresh yeast. And 1.2 uh, kilos of flour. That would be our base for the whole dough. The secret is the three eggs that are gonna add. Right? That will make it the, the dough lighter when you cook it and a little bit crispier on the side when you bake it. So, we're gonna start the whole process. I'm gonna show you guys the step-by-step step, and then after the filling step-by-step step, when the dough is waiting to raise. Okay, thank you, keep it on, keep it watching. And let's do that together. Um, let's start the process to make the dough for the sphere. What I do, I use 600 ml of warm water. Okay, now look warm, warm. Quite good warm, because by the time they put it in there, and it starts cooling down. And when it's warm, they kick the yeast, so I'll help the yeast. So I use the whole 200 ml of olive oil. Okay. I will now break the fresh yeast into the water and leave them here. I'll add the sugar. sugar. Why sugar? Sugar also reacts the process of the yeast the salt kills, so I leave the salt for last, so they can be very started the fermentation very well. Now I will let them play a little bit. So the whole process starts and just mix it a whole sugar, yeast, water, warm water and the olive oil until one more jam. We'll bring it like that and leave it a little bit before you add anything. For this dough, you can use any type of sugar you like or you have in your kitchen, but no icing sugar. Okay? So it's still me. So before I actually crack the eggs and so that's how they should be looking like. It's like homogene, the, the oil won't mix, but you can see the whole yeast is already melted and mixed with the sugar. And the bubble will start to... Now I have added the eggs and I'm gonna mix it again. Let's start putting the flour slowly and let it mix. I have just added a little bit more flour and I'm gonna carry on me. Good music. Well, the dough is almost done. So I'm gonna add for last the salt into the dough. Okay, 
that will slow a little bit down uh, the fermentation because the salt and the ferment, the live ferment doesn't work very good well together because it kills it. So we'll have a time to raise this and that's how the point that we want it. We might need to add a little bit more flour if you go just play by ear for the measurements that I passed to you, but you might need to add some more. Depends on weather, depends on how much that the eggs are, the size of it, and oil, and so how dense it is, is smaller and then bigger. It all depends, but you feel the dough needs to not stick in your fingers. So when the dough is sticking in your fingers, you know that's right. Um, the dough is raising, right? Now I'm gonna work in, on the filling for it. So if you has a filling, which I filling with a use beef mince, onion, garlic, rosemary, thyme, and on a mortar I will do with green pepper dried and rock salt, which will be a mixture for the whole filling. And I will add a little bit of uh, uh, coriander as well. But I will show you guys all the step by step and look at that. It's raising beautifully. A bit of mortar work, so getting the rock soaked in the Sichuan uh, pepper. All done. So as good as it smells, it comes amazing, you unbelievable. You know? So get all that done. And get the onion, the olive oil, it's Greek by the way, and bring it all to the pot, saute the whole the meat and then you're going to cook the meat in a casserole a little bit, bring it just at the end a little bit of a rosemary thyme, just to bring it all the smells. Probably start, so um, the oil is hot almost, getting the hot, the oil hot. Okay, we're gonna use some onions, right? Chop them. This is squares, they're gonna melt it. Infuse into the olive oil. You want a piece of it, you know? of the onion, you don't need to disappear with them. So you get the onion ready, right? You're gonna get your garlic. I love my garlic like chips. So, of course my grandma used to do like that. And that's how I like it. So, finally, Or you can do your garlic however you like it. Yeah? But I just love garlic, so the garlic on the meat for me is essential. So then you add the meat first into the hot olive oil. Right, but it's down a little bit. Very hot, see? It's raising. Right? And the filling is done. Ready? Beautiful, look, crispy going down. So I'm gonna pull it out. There is some extra flour and some flour to dust at the bench. I'll make some little balls similar, right? Uh, you can weight them. I normally have, I know the size pretty much on my hand. So I'll use my hand and I'll make the balls and then I'm gonna roll them, fill them up with and Let's start the process. Okay, let's take the dough out of here. It's ready, look at that. So no, no sticking to your fingers when I see it, right? Extra flour, you're just gonna roll a little bit, make it all homogene. Let me make some balls, quite warm still. So I'll take some balls. Right, you can weight them if you want to go all, everything the same size, but doing grandma way. So I think I make the egg wash with three eggs, a dash of milk, 
We're gonna beat them with a fork and brush them with a painting brush or a cooking brush. Clean, of course. It's quite easy. So you pick it in, okay? Use a bit of flour. Let's roll it. Right? Open. Because it's a, um, a light dough, right? So you don't need to, you see, thin dough, right? It's very thin. Okay, so now I'm gonna close this sphere. Okay, so you see, basically, so let's turn this around. What we do is easy a bit of egg wash. Right, around the edges, slightly. The meat on the center. Or the filling you try, you, try, you can do whatever filling you like, yeah. Okay. And we shut it, okay. So my grandma used to shut that way. So we're making like a nice triangle. Look at that. Okay, very rustic. So we can see this manually done, right? And we'll see that before it goes egg washed and goes to the oven. So we got them brushed, washed, egg washed, right? Or brushed. And they're going to the oven. So now we have the final art. Ready to eat. Bottom. Try one of them. With a good beer. Um, Malagueta sauce. And kumari. Which is something then high Beautiful beer, by the way. Who doesn't know? Hof Brown, German. So, ooh, let me try. Beautiful. Look at that. Oh. Mm. Mm. Very light, great, kind of bready, you know. Wow, cheers! Happy New Year! Keep following us.